Hello, everybody. It is Andy Smith, 32-year veteran of the comic book industry. And uh, you know me. You know I like John Byrne. I still love John Byrne's work, actually. Sure, it has its flaws, but overall, it's great comics. And if you don't know, over the past few years, he drew 31 or 32 issues of a book called X-Men Else Win. His take on the X-Men after issue 137. He just penciled it and that was it, but he posted them online and they were high enough resolution to where you could download them and uh, use them for inking practice. So there were a few pages in the book that I really enjoyed. This is one of them featuring the Gladiator and it's a splash page. So I took it into Photoshop, made it non-repro blue except for the uh, dialogue printed it out, and am inking it for you guys in this time-lapse recording. You could see back in the beginning, I started off ruling the four borders, just used the graphic one micron Pigma pen, and now I'm using a brush, uh, my trusty Raphael Kalinske round uh, sable hair number two brush. I've used a number three and a number four, but... This number two is working nice, so I'm just using this. And uh, for ink, I'm using Higgins Calligraphy ink. It's uh, it's smooth. It, it does have a little gray to it, even though it's black ink. It's just the consistency is what I really like uh, when I'm inking. Black Magic can get a little gunky and a little thick. So I tried this and enjoy it. So now I'm using, uh, uh, I was using that brush. Now I'm using a, uh, I believe it's a medium size zebra brush pen to do some of the rendering on this large figure of Gladiator. I've always liked John Byrne's rendering and I want to give it more of a uh, Quill Hunt 102 pen look. And I can get that with this brush pen, and it just saves me from having to dip uh, Hunt 102 in ink. So that's what I'm doing now on this figure. Uh, you'll probably notice, too, throughout the video, there's some jumps. And it's because, uh, honestly, I forgot to turn the stupid camera on when I was recording. And uh, I really beat myself up over that because I wanted to do a nice time lapse of the whole thing from start to finish. Uh I'm back inking Cyclops now. I couldn't slow this part of the video down anymore without it looking really choppy. So uh, bear with me. I'm using my brush again. And for most of the rendering on him, since there's not that much because it's so far in the distance, the figure that is, I'm just using this brush that I have in hand to do the little bit of feathering that is on his figure. That's one of the things that I liked about this page is you know, for something I was just doing for fun, I didn't want to spend tons of time. And I think the overall time it took me to ink this page from start to finish was about three hours. So it wasn't huge time commitment. And, uh, you know, it was still fun. Uh, I can't see myself inking a paneled page from this Elswin story just because that would take a long time. And, uh, as much as I like doing these fun exercises, I have other stuff I have to do that uh, pays the bills. Um, funny thing is, when I started doing this page, my thought was, I'll just sell it when I'm done. But I like the way it came out, which you'll see at the end. So I'm not really sure if uh, I am going to sell it. I don't know. I'll have to see. But I'm just using, uh, pretty much for the rest of this page, for the figure work, I'm just using the Raphael Kalinske uh, number two round brush. Uh, once I do get to the straight line stuff, I was actually using the same brush pen I did for the rendering on Gladiator for the straight line stuff in the background. Because if I want to give a little bit of line weight to the straight lines, I could just apply a little pressure to the brush pen.
All right, doing some backgrounds here. Use the French curve and the brush pen to get that curve on that whip or whatever that woman has. A little ruler work. You know, one of the other reasons, honestly, I chose this page is because there's really no backgrounds except for some straight lines. And like I said, doing something just for fun. I'm not looking to break my back on this page. I just want to... Uh, to practice inking over somebody else, one of my favorite artists, and uh, I thought this was a good page to do it with. So straight lines take no time, really. Like I said, just using the brush pen, getting it done. Uh, using ellipse guides for the wheels on Xavier's wheelchair. You know, I can tell Burn used them when he drew it. I don't know what... Uh, degree they were, so I just lined it up with my ellipse guides as best I could. You know, that's all you have to do. You don't have to be 100% right on the money with it. For the hair, I'm using my brush for his, uh, his mohawk. Just using my brush for it. Shine lines on the floor. Same thing, just using a brush. And then, uh, let's see, for the whiteout, I'm using a uh, Posco. I believe that's the name of it, Whiteout Pen. It's a 0.7 millimeter, so it's a very thin pen. And I'm just cleaning a few things up. And uh, this is the finished product of the page after I scanned it and adjusted the levels and stuff to get the blacks really solid black and such. It was fun. You know, three hours worth of work. Fun little experiment to do. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>